it's just a lifestyle that it's hard to describe to the outside person unless you've been here and lived it. One thing that's nice about Cape Dorado and the fire department here is that we have a wide variety of calls. Uh, we have an older town, a lot of buildings dated back to the 1700s. I'd say that anybody that wanted to get into the fire service and wanted to go somewhere where um, it's that ideal image of firefighting, Cape Dorado is the place to go. I think station one is where you show your true chops for the job. It's, it's a good way to really make an impression on people. You're going to come in, you're going to run a lot of calls, you're going to gain a lot of experience. The call volume that you're going to run is, is so valuable in experience. It's not the years of service that you put in, it's the times that you do it. Here in the city, uh, there is uh, the VOTED that offers uh, EMT training, and then uh, here at the fire department, every spring we offer a firefighter one two class that's uh, hosted in house with, through the department. This station here, it's 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 for the young guys because the young guys come in, they they want to go on calls, they want to be in the action, they they want to be able to do things. And it, it is like family. I mean, this is your second family. Uh, a lot of times you're with these guys more than you are with your own family. Your families become each other's families. Um, we share each other's problems. The fact that you're sleeping and living with people for 24 hours, um, it's really a family type environment. And so it's a, a very unique and rewarding situation to be in.